Oh snap! It's finally happening! Yes, right. What's up? All right. started with the video you already know what the deal is yo give it a thumbs up man you know you want to bro like bro all right it's some pretty big news this is coming courtesy of doc trey 81 via linkedin for those of you that don't know what linkedin is it is the website where companies go to to post job listings and there's two listings posted. I'm going to talk about both of them. But one of them got my attention. Nintendo has posted a job listing for a software engineer in networking. And this is what they're looking for. Seeking an entry-level engineer who is available during the summer of 2020. Ooh, that's when the Switch Pro is rumored to come out. To join the team responsible for research and development, R&D, with the core network stack team on the Nintendo Switch. Projects include prototyping new network features and applications. Oh my, oh, oh my goodness. Performing optimizations and doing analysis. They're hiring someone to help with their new network features. Bro, Nintendo's about to come out with new network features according to this job description. Someone that's gonna be able to prototype new networking features. Bro, I keep saying this. The Nintendo Switch is sorely behind Xbox and PlayStation when it comes to their online features. We gotta use a phone! This is what we gotta use if we wanna get into voice chat. If we wanna message our friends, we gotta use a separate device. One of the things with a Switch Pro could mean more RAM to where we don't have to use something separate to do that. We can communicate right on our systems who'd have thought the wii u could do this remember that wii u um facetime app we could have done that on the wii u we can't even do it on the switch bro oh yeah we about to beat this horse achievements everybody has achievements except nintendo apple has achievements xbox has achievements Bruh, Google Stadia just launched and they already implementing achievements into their system. Nintendo would make the best achievement system. Be creative with it, Nintendo. Microsoft just got points because they started it all. So points, ooh, whoop de doo numbers. They're still lit though. PlayStation turned it up a bit with trophies. Certain things you do gives you gold, silver, bronze, platinum trophies. Dudes try to get those platinum trophies. Bruh, you know what Nintendo should do? You see the wardrobe in um, Super Mario Galaxy? And when, even in Mario Maker, when you do different things, you unlock different costumes. Bro, just imagine you playing Overwatch on your Switch, achievement unlocked. And on your Me, you they have like a closet and you unlock a, a, a Risa um, skin or something. Bro, Nintendo could be creative with it. But 
that's that could be a whole other video of me just rambling about all the features Nintendo needs. According to this LinkedIn um, posting, Nintendo is hiring someone to help prototype new network features, meaning features that we currently don't have somewhere between May and August. We could possibly get new network features lit bro the other posting is for a graphic software engineer i think this is more giving more credibility to um switch pro rumors this posting is saying we're seeking entry level engineer who was available during the summer of 2020 again may bro again it's a coincidence that these postings are for positions for May 20 to, um, no, it says May to August during the summer of 2020. All of the rumors are saying Nintendo's about to launch a Switch Pro during that time. And so it makes sense. They already have staff in place to um, get things ready, software uh, for the Switch Pro, but to hire even more to help during that time period uh, for when the console launch is going to be a busy, busy crunch time period. If, 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 if all the leaks, all the rumors are true about a Switch Pro. But bro, what got my attention was the new networking features and applications, bro. Ah, oh, man. I'm beating that horse. All right. Next news item. Oh, bro, a new trademark was filed for the Mario and Luigi series. Yes, I knew the series couldn't be done, bro, because there was recent news that Alpha Dream um, had filed for bankruptcy. And that, that was the company that Nintendo used, the second party studio, to make the Mario and Luigi games. But, bro... The fact that they're filing a trademark means somebody else is going to make it. Either Nintendo's probably going to fund Alpha Dreams to make another one, or um, uh, uh, another Nintendo internal studio could be working on it. But, bro, I love this series on my DS. Dope, dope, dope games. The combat was unique. The dialogue was so funny. It was a little heavy on dialogue. Some of those dialogues are just, hey, 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 hey. skip, 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 skip. But... The overall gameplay, dope, dope, dope. And so good to see that we're possibly going to be getting a new Mario and Luigi game. Could this be announced at the next Nintendo Direct? Come on, Nintendo. Give us a Direct in January, Nintendo. Stop playing with our emotions. All right, next news item. Bro, I thought this was crazy and cool. NPD has just reported that there were more video games released on the Nintendo Switch in 2019 than the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 combined. Bro, the Switch is killing it right now, bro. More games on the Switch in 2019 than the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 combined? More third-party developers. Well, third-party developers already on board with the Switch. EA, give us Madden, bro. Stop tripping. And the last news item, I had to share this when I saw it. Shank Mods. They have developed a GameCube Joy-Con for the Nintendo Switch. It comes in, you could actually use it as like a grip outside of the Switch. And you could slide it onto your Switch uh, for GameCube greatness. GameCube, one of the best controllers ever made. Probably top two in my opinion. Xbox and GameCube controllers, one and two. Um, the only thing sometimes I realize now that where the B and the X is on the GameCube, that's a long travel distance over that huge A button. So I can see why Nintendo um, never really put that on other systems. But... Other than that, it's comfortable. Thing of beauty, bro. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, I'm about to say, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date 
all things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.